Thousands of Zimbabweans in anti Mugabe protests outside parliament jumped into song and dance in celebration. Immediately, they learned about Robert Mugabe's resignation in a surprise announcement that halted an impeachment hearing that had begun against him in parliament. Lomekas went into jubilation inside parliament after the speaker of the special joint parliamentary session, Jacob Mudenda, dropped the bombshell by reading Mugabe's resignation letter that brings the curtain down on a 37-year reign. Notice of resignation. <laughs> the lawmakers had initiated a motion to impeach him today afternoon after Mugabe ignored a deadline set by his party, ZANU-PF, to resign. Mugabe would have been impeached in two parliament sessions if the motion went through. Earlier today, ousted Zimbabwe vice president and frontrunner in Mugabe's succession, Imasonom Nangagwa, turned down a meeting with President Robert Mugabe, warning him to step down immediately or face humiliation at the hands of the nation. Mugabe had previously refused to resign in the face of overwhelming pressure to leave office, including last week's military takeover and days of protests. Only five ministers and the attorney general turned up for Mugabe's cabinet meeting today, with the other 17 ministers opting to attend a meeting to plan the impeachment. Morgan Shangirai, the opposition leader who has been a major Mugabe critic, led demonstrators outside parliament in support of the motion to host Mugabe. The influential Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association are among the groups that had mounted pressure on Mugabe to resign by organizing protests and even filing petition in court. We are bringing again today to defeat the tyrannic regime. Mugabe's efforts to position his wife Grace as his successor triggered fury in the military who took over power last Wednesday to prevent her from succeeding him. Zimbabwe's defense forces had promised to issue an official statement updating their latest negotiation on an exit plan with Mugabe. The 93-year-old Mugabe ruled the country with an iron fist for almost four decades and is the only president Zimbabwe has known since independence in 1980.